Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Rock Paper Shotgun. You are listening to the soothing sounds of Equilinox, and the not so soothing sounds of my voice. I am Alice, and I'm here to talk you through and show you Equilinox. But before I do, a quick thank you to Shadow for supporting this video. For more information on the impressive cloud based PC, check out the link in the description below. Equilinox is a kind of simulation sandbox relaxing nature simulation game where you create biomes and you nurture animals and plants and you breed them and you evolve them and you unlock things and listen to nice music and cultivate your own land. It's pretty lovely and I've had a couple of hours with it now. I'm not that far into it. I'm not at the beginning either. And here we have my world. You probably heard me plonking down some bits and bobs then. I'm trying to make this area more woody as I'm trying to evolve my guinea pigs into rabbits. I need to get an ash tree and I need to evolve an ash tree from, what is it? From an elm. But I haven't got enough woodland yet so I need to get that going. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, scientific with, I don't think sheep evolve into boars and deers and goats and I don't think guinea pigs evolve into rabbits and squirrels, but it's such a lovely soothing game. It's oh, very easy to get lost in. It does feel like a game I played on mobile, but it's you get a lot from it playing it on PC. It's not the same game as the mobile game, but it is just as relaxing as something that you could just pick up and lose a good few hours in. So I have this little woody area over here, which is what I started out with building with my grassy tufts. As you can see, it's quite grassy here, quite green. It's a little bit less grassy over here. I haven't got as much grass or as much woodland going on. And over here I have lots of grass and lots of little guinea pig family going on. I was trying to grow mint over here for ages and I needed a really grassy area for my grass to grow in and to evolve into mint and or it was a nightmare. As you can see with my grass I've unlocked all the different evolutions for grass. Wheat, well mint, oregano, or oregano, or it's oregano, just saying. After you unlock things you can then buy them with diversity points which is what you get up here with the little leafy dude and you get diversity points at a rate depending on how much stuff you have and how many things are creating diversity points so for instance my guinea pig, oh my goodness they're so fast. This current guinea pig is panicking um, and now getting food. Jordan the guinea pig will be getting me 72 diversity points a minute. Um, you can speed up down here as you can see I'm on Day eight, year two, you start off on day one, year one, and everything was brown. Everything was brown. As you can see, this is my entire map, and I have just got this little area. I have not yet unlocked jungle areas, swamp areas, or snowy areas, but that will come with evolution. So I have Dodger the chicken here. I want to evolve them into sparrows, but I need to have them eating barley and to get barley I had to evolve something but I can't remember what it was but I had to evolve something but it's not a suitable biome for it here it needs herbs and stones so we need a bit more herb a bit more herbs down so if we put some rosemary down altitude factor no idea what kind of altitude does does it like oh it likes having high altitude Interesting, interesting. I want to evolve this chicken into a sparrow. Not this one particularly. So it needs a diet of barley in a biome that's 30% woodland. You can use this little biome picker, that's like the eyedropper tool, and it tells you what everything is. So we've got 27% woodland here, 24%, 25%. We need a few more trees. Oh wait, I was reading the grassland one. 52% woodland. So if you look here, we've got 55% woodland, 53, 54, 43, 451, and different different items will produce more of a biome. So more trees will produce more woodland, for instance. 
These tall trees don't like anything that I have at the moment. Definitely doesn't like it up there. So fussy. What about with our guinea pig land over here? Nope, even worse. So, yeah, you, before you put things down, you can check that they're okay for that area. And now I'm going to try and put some barley down around here. Liked species one out of two. What else do you like? Sm is it small herbivores? Herbs and stones. Okay, put some stones down after I put you down. I need, I need these chickens. I need these chickens to turn into things. It's very easy to run out of money really quickly as well. So maybe you just need to be better at the game than me. You can speed up time and that helps a lot. And I can't ever remember what anything meant to look like. Where's my barley? Is that my barley? That's my oregano. That's my rosemary. What did my barley look like? What does my barley look like? Those guinea pig noises are amazing. One of the first guinea pigs I got was called Tank. It's a great name for a guinea pig. Yes, yeah, so if you see down here, I've got an apple a day reward. There are tasks that you have to complete, and the an apple a day Produce 250 apples and every time you do that you get 5,000 diversity points and it's on auto complete and it repeats. Um, these are the ones down here that I have completed. So, satisfied sheep, watching grass grow, chicken farm. A bunch of them are unlocked and you'll unlock them when you complete other tasks. And these tasks are the ones that I am working towards. This one is difficult. Um, these ones I don't have yet. I need to get a rabbit to eat 10 carrots, but I need to, need rabbits first. I need a guinea pig to eat potatoes, but I haven't got potatoes yet. A potato plant evolves from sage. I don't have sage yet. So there's a lot of things that have to lead on from one another. Um, and that is a thing that takes time. I need this elm tree to turn into an ash tree. So as you can see here, you click on the evolution tab. It goes nearby species, flowers, times three. Have those. Biome, 80% woodland, do not have that. I have 51% woodland, and as the days go on, the trees fall and they have to grow again, and yeah. Basically, the world never stops for me. I have got some fish over here that I've started evolving. I had, yeah, evolved a few ducks as well, um, and some water lilies and some kelp and from some seaweed. I've done a lot already in this and I'm kind of hitting a wall with being able to succeed in going further. Um, so we want chickens up here really. Dislike species. What do you dislike? Chickens don't dislike anything. There's a little information button on each thing before. Natural colour. It's not telling me what it does. There aren't many trees and often hunted by various predators. Well, I need you. Yeah, so they come from eggs. This is an apple. As you can see, they just fall from the trees. Yeah, we need an ash tree so we can get a rabbit. And then we want a chicken to evolve into a sparrow, but we need them to be on a diet of barley. It's very difficult to find. I do find that a lot of the plants look the same, which is a bit annoying. You have the the plant shop, the animal shop, the task list, the checklist, which is telling you what you're up to. Unstarted. Haven't started evolving any of these yet. Um, this is what I have got in the world. Uh, these are what I have in the world. I only have one barley in the world. This is what tasks I have doing, have done. It's quite a lot here. Um, and then you've got your music tracks, which is quite nice. It's quite nice having the, the ability to choose what music's playing. You unlock music as you finish tasks and stuff. And then you've got a really helpful help panel in case you get confused with anything. Um, so it's a really good game. I haven't used the eraser tool yet. I don't really know what it does. I'm a bit scared of it. What if I do it over here? It just gets rid of a load of objects at once. So your world is randomly generated. And you can choose a few different things in the start menu, like if you want it to be flat, if you want it to be hilly or normal, if you want it to be, if you want it to have no water or lots of water or normal. I just went for normal just to see what it was going to throw at me. And it's, I really love how it looks as well. 
my lonely rock up there. I don't know why I did that. So I'm just going to speed it up a bit and get a few more diversity points. You have to click and hold down here, otherwise it doesn't speed up. You can see all the trees growing and it's quite nice to just watch, to be honest. So I now have enough money to buy a bit more barley. Only two though, because we know that barley is tough. Yep. Chicken. Hello, chicken. Diet. Barley. Eat some barley. We can get a sparrow. Eat some barley. Eat some barley. Oh, yes, you can actually take control of the chickens and the animals. And you can make them make their noises. So I am now in control of this chicken. But you can't do too much with them. Look at this sleeping sheep. So cute. Champ. See, I don't have any of the possibilities to do this. I don't have any fruit bushes. I don't have snowy biomes. And I don't have not grassland. But they do eat fallen fruit. What if... Oh, could I then? I haven't tried this yet. If I put you here, you're not going to survive very long. But I could unlock a boar. Couldn't I? Yes. Don't run back to where you want to be. Oh, that's not going to work. It's going to pause it now. Oh, wait. Ah. Alice did a thing. Alice did a thing. You can just track its progress by watching it. One thing I have realised is do not do this with animals that are going to die. Or plants that are going to die. It's a bit of a pain. Bleh. Are you eating barley yet? Not enough DP. Oh, yes, okay, that's ready to go. I just need the money for it. So I need 10,000 diversity points. And then we can start evolving this chicken into a sparrow. Again, not scientifically true or correct, but fun nonetheless. Ah, we've got a boar. Yes. I don't know where boars live. I'll leave it there. Here's our sparrow. Little baby sparrow. Great. What? How amazing is that? We've just, uh, we've just done a boar and a sparrow. Forest swamp. Okay, so you can come and live over here then. We don't, want to do we don't want Jack the boar to be sad. Do we? Oh no. Do we have diseased chickens? We got rid of them. They were gonna... Oh, you need to go. You can fix the diseases, but I, I'm i just very wary. Chickens aren't very expensive to re-get. I know that's not a very good way of looking at life, but take control. Let's move him over here. Yay! Yay! I don't know if he's going to eat things that I don't want him to eat. Right now he's hungry. That's all. What do you eat? What do you eat, boar? Apples. Vegetables, potatoes, fruits, herbs. Okay. Where's he gone? There he is. We can turn him into a warthog if he's eating potato with a satisfaction of 90. We still do not have a potato plant. We need to have a sage plant and then we'll get a potato plant from the sage plant. So sage evolves from rosemary. We have lots of rosemary lying around. That's heather. We do have lots of rosemary lying around. I just noticed this. It says speed, bounce power, 20 boings. So if I wanted to change my warthog, I could choose a selected breed and then I could make the size bigger. I could change the colour for a price. Um, I could get the disease resist up. Boings, they do in a bounce for a price as well. Let's have a look at that. I don't want you to be too far over here though. Very sad that you're, you think you need to be over here. I don't want you to be over here. I don't want you to be over here. This is probably a waste of my money, but now I know I can do this. I want you to stay here, please. We have sparrows now. 10 points per visit. Building speed. 
Oh, so they build building trees. That's nice. Look how many boings he's got. So, so cute. These are my blue daisies that I genetically modified. Pretty impressed for myself, I must admit. Bye. So now hopefully this... No, you did not. Gasby. Gasby just ate my rosemary. Oh my goodness. That's so rude. So rude. Who's ill? Who's dying of hunger? You got loads of sparrows flying around now. This is very cute. This is right up my street. It's like Viva Pin Planter. Yeah? You get it? Viva Pin Planter. Canopy tree, white, lush. Okay, so we don't have any of that yet, but there's just so much you can get from evolving animals. Yeah, so a good thing about this is you can filter items by where they live, uh, where they what they spread. So if you want something to spread forest, you just get this. Like we could plonk some heather down for it to be forest, but I'm not going to do that because it's not the right area. Uh, tall trees do forest as well. So lives in biome, forest trees, oak tree again, and then this rosemary is ready, but I haven't got enough DP. Ah, always the way. So I speed up. Hope that nothing eats it. Start breeding. And then we'll wait for that to turn into sage. And that'll be great. And then we can do in a potato plant. The organism carrying it out has died. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Continue. Just buy another one and then continue it. <sighs> At least it didn't get eaten by bloody chicken. So dramatic. They're like, oh, I'm dying of hunger. Oh, I'm on my way to get food though. You're not dying then, are you? We've got so much stuff around here. It's great. It's so thriving and nice. Oh yes, we've successfully evolved a sage. Now we're going to plant a sage. And see what we need to do a potato plant. Nearby species, Acer tree, 80% forest. Acer tree, cedar tree. Where's the cedar one? That evolves from a tall tree. Okay, how do we get... Ooh. Heather, size. So sometimes I just leave it speeding up for a while and watch as my world goes by. So as you can see, it is pretty difficult to, once you get quite deep into it, it's quite hard to start evolving things and I'm not gonna get anywhere near the snowy stuff today or the swampy stuff or the lush stuff. I just can't see it happening. What tasks do I have then? Complete all tasks. I've done 17 out of 53 tasks, which is not very much. So I am trying my hardest to get this elm tree to do a thing. It's taking me blooming ages. Go on. So you can fix disease. The better the environment is, the higher the chances of it being fixed. Your health is really low. Your health is also really low. You're dead. Great. Great, it died. Well, that's fine. As long as it died and didn't spread it anywhere, you know? Probably quite bad of me to say. This area is thriving. Look at this. I've got boars, I've got birds. Still only got 47% woodland. It's going up. It's going up. Slowly but surely. It's just taking its sweet, sweet time, isn't it? It's sweet, sweet time. We all know I love management sims, and this is one that is kind of less stressful than the other ones kind of more stressful because I want to save all the animals but at the same time it's difficult to save all the animals and yeah it's a struggle it's a struggle it's, it's a juggle and it's a struggle it's a struggle juggle but um, I am enjoying it a lot though this is definitely a game that would relax you I think maybe not maybe not me right now but I think for the common person or the, the usual person, it, it would relax you, and it, it could it could relax you quite easily. I love its I love its soundtrack. I love its graphics. I love the casualness of it. It doesn't feel stressful. It doesn't feel like it's rushing you. It is annoying how long it takes for the diversity points to rack up, but you can leave it on its own for a while, and you can come back, and it will have done a bunch of stuff. And I would like it if you didn't have to click and hold the speed up button. To begin with, I was progressing really quickly. 
and like I was smashing through it all and I was like oh this seems pretty easy to complete but it is getting harder and I was hoping to have multiple areas on the map by now of different biomes and stuff but it just hasn't happened and that's disappointing. I love how it looks. I think it's stunning. The music's lovely. The soundtrack, the sound effects are lovely. It's made me smile numerous times. For instance, picking up a guinea pig. A fluffy little animal that shuffles around, prefers to live in either grass under woodland areas, and eats fruits, berries, vegetables, and grasses. This little rodent is easily frightened and sometimes just freaks out for no apparent reason. And its ability is gets panicked sometimes and runs around in fear. That's one of its abilities. It's just little things like that that I like reading and it makes me makes me smile because guinea pigs are hilarious anyway. I just can't wait to unlock all of these. Look at them. The peacock looks incredible. That about wraps it up for today's Let's Play of Equilinox. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I am really enjoying it. It is a bit slow after you get into it, but there's loads of tasks for you to do, and loads of things for you to figure out, and it would just be, I think it would be a game that you need to have a little notebook written down with you so you can track the lineage of things. You can click on things and see the lineage. If you go on the information, then you go on their family tree, and you can see that it will evolve into a nut tree. As you can see from my chicken, it has evolved from a chicken into a sparrow, into a duck, and then has all of these undiscovered ones, toucan, dove, and peacock. Um, it is a really lovely game. There is a lot of information there for you. It doesn't really leave you on your own. You've got a help bar all the time to look at. And just look at it. Isn't it stunning? It's just so nice. It's just so nice to look at. I really do like it, I think it's a nice, like I said, it feels like a mobile game I've played before, so it is super casual, anyone can jump into it and play it, and it's just super accessible. You don't have to be good at games, you don't have to be good at management games, but it is really lovely to play, and a strong contender for one of my favourite games of the year, I think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, let me know what you think of Equilinox in the comments below. I do wish we had got around to seeing more biome types, but for the time being, I think that this is a pretty lovely introduction into a fascinating world that you can create in your own way. Let me know what you think below, uh, like this video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to Rock Paper Shotgun if you want to see more videos like this one. I have done another video quite similar to this one about Mega Aquarium, so check that out. And I've recently just done a little let's play on Two Point Hospital's new Bigfoot DLC. So make sure you check out those if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And before I say goodbye, check out this video for more information about Shadow. Thanks again to Shadow for sponsoring this RPS video. Shadow is a high-end cloud-based computer available on any internet-enabled device. Just like any Windows 10 PC, you can use it to work, play, or browse. It has the specs to handle any game and comes with an integrated fiber connection perfect for downloading any game or uploading a video at the speed of light. For more info on Shadow and a discount for RPS viewers, click the link in the description. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!